Hey guys, what's up? It's Eiffel here, and today we're going to be looking at how you progress like after you do more or less the beginner things. Because I know a lot of people who've been watching my beginner guides are more or less stuck at like the first three planets. Like they've got up to Saturn, they've got up to Jupiter, and they don't really know how to progress. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pulling up the star chart, like little map thing, like the progression chart, and we're going to be saying which side is the best to go down. So, like if you don't know... The map is kind of like split up into two sides. You can go on one planet and open up all these other planets, or you can go with this other planet and open up all these different other planets. So, uh, we'll look at it this way. So, our starter planet was Earth, and then we head on to Mercury. From Mercury, we could kill Vor twice, and then we get the option to go to either Mars or Venus. And this is where the split happens. Okay, and this is where I'm going to recommend places to go. Okay? So, if you look in the Venus side, from Venus, we can head over to Jupiter, which is here. From Jupiter, we can head over to Sedna, uh, if I can find it. And from Sedna, we head over to Uranus, and then Eris, which I haven't actually unlocked on this. So, uh, from Mercury, and then we go over to Mars, then, and we find Mars. We have Mars, and then we head over to Saturn. And then from Saturn we go to Phobos, and then from Phobos we go to Europa, and then from Europa we go to Neptune, and then Pluto, and then Ceres. And that's how that works. So on the Neptune boss, you kill him once and you get the Pluto and Ceres nav segment, so that's pretty, that's pretty straightforward. But what we're mainly going to be looking at here is the frames that you can get from each of the bosses on the planet. So... The frames that you want to be going for on the star chart are Nova and Loki. Nova, because she's amazing for defense and survivals, and Loki is the exact same. He's amazing for defense and survivals, and Loki's also really good for soloing. Now, you're going to be able to type these frames into the voids, and I'm going to have videos on them. But you want to make your way to the planets that hold these frames. Now, to get Nova, Nova is probably the first one that you're going to go get. I recommend going from Mercury up until you get the Phobos. Once you get the Phobos, you're going to be killing a boss, well, two bosses, Assassination, Lieutenant Lich Krill, and Captain Vor. And these guys are going to drop you Trinity. And Trinity is a really good frame because she will really help you kill the boss for Nova, which is the Raptor, I believe. Yep, the Raptor. And he's located on Europa. So... From Phobos, if you take the right from Mercury, Mars, Saturn, so once you've completed Saturn, you unlock Phobos. Uh, on Phobos, farm that boss until you're able to build Trinity. Once Trinity is built, go ahead over to Europa and start killing that boss until you get Nova. What Nova's then going to allow you to do is kill the boss on Neptune, which is the Hyena Pack. Really annoying boss if you don't have Nova. What Nova's ability is going to do is it's going to slow them down. Now, there's more than one boss in Neptune. The Hyena Pack is the, like, there are four hyenas in the one mission, if you get what I mean. So, you're going to go in there, and then you're going to use Nova's ability, and it's just going to make it really easy. And that's what I recommend doing. And the Hyena Pack is going to get you lucky. So, what you're doing is you're getting these free frames, and then you're progressing for the star chart. And what these free frames will allow you to do is they'll allow you to go into the void, that would just be really easy, and people in recruiting chat will want you because you have these frames, and it just, you know, it makes the whole game completely easier. But I'll be posting videos on, you know, boss guides, things like that there, how to kill the boss, etc, etc, and that's pretty much going to be it. So, for those who are asking questions on, like, where do I go next after I've completed, like, up to Jupiter and Saturn, uh, just follow that, and, you know, you'll get to Pluto. Pluto's like the highest planet you can get to, and then in Pluto you'll be able to level up really fast on Satura. So that's definitely what I recommend. Um, until then, just keep on going that cycle. Get all of the nav maps unlocked, and uh, get like every frame. Have it built in your foundry, and then we'll go over how to get like more platinum if you don't want to buy it or if you don't want to sell some of your stuff, things like that. So. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below and you want to see more content from me, please hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.